I don't know about y'all, but I freaking love picking my character and changing the way my character look in any fighting game. It's my favorite thing to do. It don't matter if I'm whooping your ass or I'm getting my own ass kicked. I still like to look nice, look either goofy, nice, serious, whatever, man. It's still it's a good feeling to have. Maybe a different color palette. Maybe. Still freaking good. Back in the day, you used to only have, like, I guess, like, a normal color palette. Like, you got a normal one and then you switch. Whoever wins, wins. You know, you know who, which one's different. You got a different color palette. That was always sick. But, hey. Times are changing. And now we got costumes. You got a lot of things you can bring to the table that I do appreciate about fighting games, you know? Aramac. My homie Aramac, bro. Like, he looking cold with the homie. The costume, the crimson. And it's, oh my god, bro. These skins look freaking sick. But, you also got different color palettes that also look pretty cool. That's what I do appreciate too. The freaking color palettes, bro. You can look at freaking Vegito. You can look like this is weird type of cell colors or Frieza colors, man. Like, come on, man. That's why I'm making this tier list today. So Dragon Ball Fire is gonna be the first one on the tier list, right? It's gonna be the middle ground. And you know, the middle ground is this is game Dragon Ball Fire's B tier. B tier for the whole fashion. It has really sick, really sick colors. But I wish they added costumes. If they added costumes, like they did with Videl, you know, if you play the game, Videl has a little costume you make and then switch up the character. But if they had that with different characters, this game would be A tier. But since it don't, B tier. It's sick how you can change stuff up like your favorite anime scene. Switch it up a little bit, but this game right here, this is A tier. This is an A tier color swap, palette swap, costume swap, A tier. This is A tier right here. I can't put fighters A tier since this game is A tier. You can switch your color. You can even have an alternate costume like Deadpool as freaking Cable, freaking Wolverine as Weapon Weapon X, I think. You right? And then oh, Scarlet Spider. Come on, man. This game sets an example that you can do colors and you can put costumes in the game. Like you got the classic fits for your freaking Marvel characters. You got different fits for your. Capcom characters like come on man. I can't I can't possibly put Dragon Ball Fighters With the same level of this game. It is criminal. It's criminal put the Dragon Ball Fighters with the same level to Marvel Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Come on man The excitement that's coming out of my voice is Factual how you look at that look at the fit to the era we're in right now like 2021 Come on, 2020, man. This game beats Dragon Ball Fighters by, by a whole tier. Like, come on, man. Get out of here with that. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. I was thinking of putting it right next to Ultimate War vs. Capcom 3. But I didn't. It's on B tier with Dragon Ball Fighters. Just because the amount of colors it has, it has one or two colors. So whoever picks the other color, you know, it's automatically. So if you pick color two, somebody's all Mac with color one. So it's like it doesn't have that many colors compared to Dragon Ball Fighters. So it has to be B tier. It has to be B tier. If it didn't have costumes, I would put it C tier. But if since it does, it's going to be. That's a pretty good customization option. The color palettes are really good in my opinion. I think this game has really good color palettes. Like really good like color swaps, right? They look more evil and they like the Golden Zed, like. You already won. You already won. B tier though. You already know this game is S tier. Just because how many costumes, how many colors you can switch between, right? You got like four colors you can switch between. Plus the outfits, the amount of outfits that's in the game. Firefighter Dio. Face. Wait, come on, bro. This game is indeed the first S tier on the tier list, man. Look at the sauce. Look at the drip. Look at the- Oh my god, man. Man, I freaking love this game. I hope they make another JoJo game. Because I want to play- I want to have another experience of a different type of JoJo game. Maybe like Fighters. Like, come on, man. A JoJo game that's like Fighters? Come on, man. It'd be amazing. 
if they have the amount of drip like you do in this game, man, man, man. This, this look at this. I'm gonna stop talking. Just look at this. Tell me this don't look good. Big body S tier, bro. Destroying the tier list. Showing some sense. Soul Caliber 6. This game is indeed another S tier. There's so much freedom, creativity, so much, so many outfits you can choose, so many different pieces you can put together you can have a hundred freaking custom characters and yeah, i have indeed did all 100 custom characters i made people like love baby and my favorite is like lionheart and my and captain falcon from smash or f-zero man you can also customize the characters that are also in the game like Volta. i don't even know what the freak this is or you can make some freakish things you got spongebob you got yeah, people from JoJo, the Crusaders, you got the freaking Ginyu Force in here. You guys want to see that? Let me know. I'm like, oh, my customized character is so cool, man. But you got the Joker, some other custom crap, man. You got the characters, man. You got so much freedom. You can make anything. You can make this pumpkin with Afro, make him look super menacing and super goofy, depending on how you're feeling. This game, this game is indeed a good S tier, in my opinion. My Hero One Justice 2. It's going to A tier because it has the same customization options as in the first game. But a little bit more, a little bit upgraded, but that's it. And plus, like, yeah, you can customize your character. Yeah. But you can't customize the color. If you could customize the color on the character, that would be made S tier. That would for sure made S tier. But since it doesn't have that option, you're basically limited, but they give you, you gotta use what they got. Give it A tier, solid A tier. Better than Ultimate Marvel's Capcom, but below the terms of JoJo and SoCal. So A plus is probably where it's gonna go. A tier to A plus. That's that's for sure the placement for it. Not any lower, not any less. You got crazy looking characters you can make. Like you saw the Shigaraki, this freaking all for one you can make stain throw like a fire pimp bro like come on man you got so many you got pretty you got a lot of options you do got a lot of options to choose from but mr compress is this freaking dobby freaking shigaraki bro like this crazy shigaraki i love this freaking crazy shigaraki my favorite one with all those hands they're looking crazy pimp for all all for pimp you know but Stain looking kind of drippy. It's not saucy. It's fashion Nova. He got this for fashion. This is Mr. Carpenter's got the fashion. And the homie Mineta. All these guys got things for fashion over. But hey. If you did think Tekken 7 was going to be S tier, you're a freaking fool. You're a freaking fool. Because Tekken has so many customization options. So much time I put in customizing my favorite characters in this game. You already saw three. That was 30 costumes already done. 40, right? I have like over, I think, 100, 100 different costumes done for like 10 characters. Like, god, god damn, bro. Like, you see how much time, how many customization, how many different looks I have for my characters? This game is an elite with customizations, options. Depending on your creativity, where you can put it. In a character, in a character, we can put down and stuff like that. Man. Leo, I don't know. I got Adventure Time outfit just sorry right there. But hey, listen, listen, man, listen, man. This game, S tier, S tier. JoJo, SoCal, Tekken, S tier. You can beat up a freaking hammerhead, Yoshimitsu, bro. Yoshimitsu is in Soul Calibur. He's in this game too. Another game that has good customization. He can freaking. You know, I can't say the word, but you know. All in all, Tekken is one of my favorite games, and you know, since I have customization options, I love it. We're gonna look at Mortal Kombat 11 and X because they both have different customization options and different features. Johnny Cage. 
Johnny Cage. Look at Ninja Mind. Johnny Cage is this one. Better, right? Eleven better. Aaron Black compared to, you know, better, right? Luke Kay. X is better than Eleven. You know, some characters look better in this game than the last game. You got better options. You got Golden Scorpion. Oh my freaking god, right? You got customization options up the ass, right? I want to give more combat X. I'm going to get more combat X. A. It's going to be A. I'm going to give A tier because how much cost, cost, costumes you got. Right? And you got different variations. Variations also add out to the costumes. So you also got that. So I'm going to add, put it in the A. Right? Might be unfair to Dragon Ball Fighters, but somebody got to be in the neutral ground. Right? But you're going to step ourselves in Mortal Kombat 11 real quick. Look at that. There's Mortal Kombat X. I already said what I had to say. We're coming 11. Basically, bumps that freaking co costume, bro. Right? That's the costume thing, right? It says, we gotta go higher. We gotta raise up the stakes, right? So, you can, you can customize the name of the variation, and you can customize the look of the variation, and what abilities want for the variation. So, plus that, I gave more to come at 11 and S tier compared to X, right? The amount of things you got different names that if you saw if you know the reference to some of these names then good on you but these names are crazy you can put names to your variations all that stuff customize the way you, you come in the match the way you end the match it is crazy man you gotta you gotta appreciate you gotta appreciate the time they put into into these options, right? I love I love this game because of that. I grinded out these games because of that. It made me grind for it. it. Got my cabal looking crazy in the combat league skin. Got Shao Kahn. You got the Joker. Like, come on, bro. You got different looking characters looking good in this game. I gotta put an S. You just gotta. I can't. Can't Werewolf Johnny, bro? Come on, bro. Werewolf Johnny Cage. This game. Is indeed an elite type of game. It's an elite type of game. You got different things you can put with different characters. You got different skins you can put with different characters. You got classic skins you can put with different characters. It's just more to comma X, but better. Better, better costumes, better skins, you know, all that shit. Color palette, elite. Can't compete. Now this game! This game right here, this game burn it, burn this game. Since ever since Fighters came out, burn this game. But you gotta appreciate that what this game gave. It gave us ability to customize our characters, right? Make our characters look nice. You got so many different options, so many freaking different options. You gotta praise this game for that, right? Even though, even though this game, I think this game is like, if I had to make a video fighting game tier list, this game would be. Like C tier, bro. Like, bro. You customize your favorite characters, Yamcha, Raditz, whatever, right? Look at this customized Raditz. Like it has options. They give you the options to customize your characters. Like the fashion, you can turn Super Saiyan Nappa if you want to. The fashion, bro. The fashion to get you the captain, bro. You can switch different people. You can switch the freaking trunks, bro. He took trunks as buying these switch them. Different color. That's color four from Dragon Ball. Fighters, at least my attempt of making color for in like, this game, but got this menace cooler that's freaking purple, golden cell, bro. Golden cell, bro. Come on, bro. You gotta appreciate what the game has done without mods, right? Without mods, this game looks fun. This game's also, if I had to put this in a tier, this game's also. Ah! Ah! I don't want add A plus. Make a new tier, A plus. Gotta be A plus. I'm making a new tier. Fuck it. A plus, bro. This game is A plus. I can't put an S. I can't put an S. Gotta be A plus. My fashion guy in here. Might be my bias. Might be me by being biased to the game. How much I don't like it that much. But I put time. I put I put some dedicated time in this combo. I'm a really huge Dragon Ball fan. So I don't know. You guys put in the comments what tiers should be. 
You guys should put in the comments what tier should be. I'm gonna leave A plus. Hard S minus. Yeah, hard S minus. <laughs> my favorite skin is this Bardock skin. I wish you could have it, but that's my this is my favorite favorite Bardock skin in the game. Like this this skin right here, this skin right here is so bomb. I wish they had it in fighters. On God, I wish they had it in fighters. Look how cool that skin is. Man. That's beautiful. Gorgeous. Just beautiful. But on to the next game. We're gonna look at Naruto. Naruto Ninja Storm 4. Didn't think I was gonna cover this one. I am gonna cover this one. Cause this has some pretty cool customizations for your characters. You know, you all about that fashion. You know Naruto rocking that Gucci Gucci pajamas. Like Sasuke rocking that black robe. Freaking killer and it's trash. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. You can freaking knock your enemy out with freaking pajama Naruto and win the match. Like, what are you, trash? Get out of here, bro. A. A tier. A tier. A plus. Now we're in Justice. One and two, right? We're doing them both. I know I did the same thing for more combat, but and I know I didn't do it for one Justice, but Injustice has different costumes than an Injustice 2. So, it bypasses that. Like, look at the peak. We're gonna have a Luchador skin against Arkham City Joker. Like, like, you gotta appreciate the freaking skins, the fashion in this game, bro. Look at the Luchador, man. Look at him, man. He looks so good, man. Like, come on, man. Characters look great. Character skins are great. I mean, back in the day, I mean, not back in the day, but when the game came out, it looked good. Compared to, like, it just, to, you know, kind of wish they had this shit. And Injustice 2. Now, Injustice 2, the way how you obtain these skins are through loot boxes. And that dumps it down a little bit. Way to gain the freaking outfits dumps it down. I don't like this type of loot box shit to get my fits, bro. That, that crushes... This is this right here. This right here crushes the ranking for me, cause I kind of want to give it a B, cause of that whack ass loot box. But that's kind of, you know, butthole ish, right? So the cosmetics does look good. The game, the way the game outfits are kind of bad. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it B plus. Nah, I ain't gonna give it B plus. But I'm gonna put an A with Injustice One, just because of that. Because why in the world would they do the loot box system? I know loot box was crazy when the time was when Justice 2 came out. But still, these costumes look sick, man. I want to gain, I want to earn them without getting loot boxes. And they soon, soon later, they did let that happen. So I would, I would put it A+, plus, but since the loot box system was in here first, going A tier. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, A tier, man. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Look, Batman Joker. Oh my God, Joker looks better in more Kombat 11 than in this game. So I'm going back to freaking Deathstroke with the classic skin and the Elseworld Flash skin, bro. Like he looks so good. So I gotta put. I'm putting, yeah, yeah. I'm putting Injustice One above Injustice Two because of fashion, since in a way how they did things so yeah fight me come on you can pop like that honestly this video was really fun to make and i did miss a couple of games but hey i didn't have footage for those games like smash let's say smash skull girls doa street fighter i forgot about street fighter but i'll put them all in the tier list that you see right here you should be able to see the tier list right here. I'll put all the games, all their tiers, and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoy. This was just a fun video to show off my costumes. Mainly, that's where I got the idea from. And then, like, I'll start off the whole thing as a whole. Maybe somebody's interested in this sort of stuff. So, I made a whole video about it. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you got any costumes, any costumes, any things you want to send me, always in the description below. And I'm out, man. Peace.